Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Noble here. Uh, today's writing lesson is going to be a little bit of a review, but also you're going to be writing about something that you're thankful for. And I know we did that yesterday in small groups, but I would like you to give it another try today on your own. So as I'm showing you how to write your I am thankful for sentence, you're also going to have to be reminded about writing on the lines and coming back to write on the next line when you run out of space, which is called sweeping back. Like you sweep with a broom in your kitchen, right? You sweep back. So I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One way is going to be the most beautiful way that we could write ever. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be spaced out. We're going to write on the lines. It's going to be beautiful. Then I'm going to show you another way, which is not kindergarten style, which is not what we're doing, which is a mess. Okay. We don't want to do the last way. Okay. We want to do it the first way. So I'm going to say, I have two sets of lines for you up here that I, I kind of tried to draw so that you could see them better. So when you're not writing on your foundations board with like the plain line and the grass line and all those special lines, when you're looking at regular paper, the dotted line or the dashed line, doo -doo 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 -doo, that is the same as your plain line on your foundations board where a lot of our letters begin. They begin on that plain line. So keep that in mind when you're writing. The line above the dotted line or the dashed line would be your skyline. And then the line below the dotted line would be your grass line, right? So try to keep that in mind as you're writing. You're not floating in between the lines, okay? All right, so you are gonna have to be writing, I am thankful for blah -de blah -de blah which is something, right? So I'm gonna start up here all the way at the left, right? And I'm going to start with I am. And again, I'm using my lines the same way I would if I were writing on my foundations board. So I am, do you see how my A and my M are between the plain line and the grass line? Do you see how there's a space between my words? And I am writing from left to write. I am, now I'm going to write thankful, which is a really big word, which you can copy off of Miss Noble's website or off of this video, okay? I am thankful. Okay, so here's the tricky part. I am thankful. Now my next word here, let me sit so you can see me. My next word is the word for. I am thankful for. Now here's the tricky part where a lot of kindergartners are having trouble right now. If I come to the end and I don't have enough space, I don't just squeeze it in over here or throw it underneath. I have to called sweep back. Whoop! I sweep back to the next beginning of the line and I keep writing here. Just like if I was reading a book, I wouldn't read like this. I would read left to right then left to right and left to right. I would keep going left to right. And that's what we're gonna do for writing. I am thankful. So my next word is for. So I'm gonna write it down here. And again, using those lines, remembering about my plain line and my grass line and keeping my letters formed correctly, okay? So I am thankful for. So now it's your chance. Now you have to come up with something to write. I am going to write something simple for you today because you guys can, I can have you kind of sound it out with me. So I'm gonna write, I am thankful for my kids. Okay, my own kids. I am thankful for, now my next word is my, and I know that word because it's a sight word. I'm gonna put my finger down to leave a space and I'm going to write the word my. I am thankful for my, now kids, k, k, k. it's actually a K. Some of us might say C, but it's a K, K, I, D, 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 and then S, S, right? I am thankful for my kids. And at the end of my sentence, I have to put a boop, a period, right? There we go. 
That is my most beautiful sentence. It's written correctly. My letters are written correctly. They are on the line. I didn't try to squish my words over here. I swept back and wrote left to right. I am thankful for my kids. Boom, beautiful, done, right? So now, before I let you go and do one on your own, because you're going to be writing, I am thankful for, and filling something in, I'm going to show you what I do not want to see, okay? So this is the bad set of lines down here. And I'm going to write my bad, I wish I had my black marker, let's see. Hmm, this almost black marker is missing, so I'm going to have to write it in a different color. I will write it in orange, okay? So my bad one will be in orange, okay? So, I am, I'm gonna write the same sentence in a way that I don't like, what I'm trying to show you not to do, okay? So, first of all, we do not wanna have letters floating. So I, look at that I floating around the line. That is not looking good. I am, oh boy, oh boy. What is happening? We should be writing on the lines, right? This is terrible. We don't like this. I am thankful. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I didn't leave a space between out. I put capital letters in the middle of nowhere. This is no good. This is no good, boys and girls. We need it to look like this, right? This is, oh, Miss Lobo could cry. I am thankful. Oh, let me, let me squeeze in. Let me squeeze in the word for. My, ah, uh, can you imagine? Can you even begin to read that? Mm-mm, we can't have squishy, squishy things happening. This is no good. And then I'm gonna write kids, uh, kids. And then I just got really big out of nowhere? No, boys and girls, no, 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 no. We need to write on the lines, whoop, right there. We need to leave beautiful spaces between our words. We need to only write in lowercase letters except for the first letter in our sentence. We have to put a period at the end. I really, really want these to come out very nice today. So I need you to cut, I need you to try your best. Okay, if it will help you, you can use one of the pages out of that foundations notebook that you got and it has the lines printed for you. You can use one of those pages if it's going to help you with your handwriting. But I really, really want it to look nice. No more squishing. No more throwing words wherever they fit, okay? We have to kind of get used to this writing on the lines. Okay, so I am thankful for, and then you guys are filling in the rest, okay? You try your best, okay? And I want you to bring this to our end of the day meeting, and I will see you guys later. Bye.